Hello and welcome to another video from Income in Shape. This video, I'm going to show you how to quickly write a letter of recommendation. If you're somebody that always gets requests to write letters of recommendation, while they're important, certainly, uh, they can be time consuming. But with technology such as Chat GPT, can kind of help speed the process up. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to write a letter of recommendation using chat GPT fairly quickly. So what you do is log in to chat GPT, create your account if you hadn't already. And it's simple. You just give the, the chat GPT a prompt to write, to write you a letter of recommendation. Now, some criticisms of writing letters of recommendation, they're supposed to be personalized and they, they still could be personalized. You could do it one of two ways. You could write, the way I see it is you just let chat GPT fill in the, the majority of the words, but you still put in the important stuff, the sentimental stuff, the examples, uh, the details. Uh, so there's two ways you could do it. You could have chat GPT create this letter of recommendation, and then you use something like, quill bot or you just paraphrase it on your own or have a set of detailed information such as the person's name, the position, how long you've known them, um, some different skills, some attributes that that person might have, some examples of why you are giving them a letter of recommendation, why they would be good for that promotion or that particular position. So you can either put this in as your prompt in chat GPT, or you can let chat GPT do its thing. And then in the editing process, you just fill in those letters of recommendation. So for instance, if I want to, let's say in our example, we're, we, we're going to write a letter of recommendation. And I always like to be polite when I'm using chat GPT, please write, a one page letter of recommendation for let's say let's see if chat gpt can get specific i was going to plug this in later but i'm just curious if if chat gpt will use this particular person's this fictional person information and details as it writes this letter recommendation. All right. So please write a one page letter of recommendation for Jane Doe for promotion of what is this senior? Yeah. Senior account manager. So I'll just see there's some, there's certain things you can either plug in, as you're writing your prompt here, or you can, or you could do it afterwards. So please write a one page letter of recommendation for Jane Doe for the position of senior account manager at company X, Y, Z, let's say, and then you just hit enter. And so, yeah, it's going to be very generic, but we're going to, tweak it. We'll personalize it. We'll paraphrase it. We'll put in those details. But if you wrote any kind of letters of recommendation or resume, sometimes it's just a lot of the jargon is just kind of, kind of go with the flow, going through the motions kind of stuff. Um, so we can briefly read through this. I'm writing this letter of recommendation for Jane Doe. So that's fine who have I had the pleasure of working with for several years. And if we look on Google Docs, known for eight years, so I can go through here and substitute that for, you know, later on, I could say, well, how about we, we change that to, instead of several years, eight years, get specific. She's recently applied for the position of senior account manager at your company. Again, I could put details in there, company XYZ. Yeah. So see what I mean? Like some of these details, like her name, her position, 
that she's going for the company. I can add that later. I don't have to have chat GPT uh, write that for me. But what I don't want to mess with or don't have time for in many instances is all the in-between kind of verbiage stuff. I'm like as a professional colleague of James, yeah, I could write that, but let chat B- GPT write that. And I don't, it saves me some time. And that's, you know, that's one of the big pluses. I know there's ethical debates and uh, pros and cons of artificial intelligence, but yeah, let's, let's let this thing do some of the work so we can focus on other things. And so you would just go through here and the, the verbiage, the, the common kind of what you would expect a letter recommendation, let chat GPT do that. And while you take care of the details and, and that'll, it'll crank it out really good. Now, if I didn't like that, you just hit regenerate response. Let's try it again. And so it does you another draft, another version of the letter of recommendation and you can rate it. So if I briefly go through here and typically to me, I've, in my experience, I've found it to be better. Uh, it improves the second time around and you know, so watch this, let's do a little experiment. Also include the time or the years we worked together. At the, let's see, landscaping company. Let's see how, let's test this. And now I'm writing to recommend Jane Doe for the position of senior account manager at company XYZ. I had the pleasure of working with Jane for several years at a landscaping company, and I can include details before she moved on to pursue her career in account management. This thing fascinating or what? This is the future here, and we might as well learn how to use it. So if you have to write a letter of recommendation, Chat GPT can help you out, save you a bunch of time. Doesn't mean it'll make it impersonal, bull. We can go through here. I can add that to my Google Doc and paraphrase it if I wanted to. Or use something like Quillbot. If you don't know what Quillbot is, it's a a way to uh, paraphrase, you know, kind of paraphrase what something like this might have wrote. And another thing, if, if you're not sure about, this is usually a telltale sign. See that gray? A lot of times that, <laughs> that means something like ChatGPT has written something. See how it's great in the background there. So don't be afraid to use something like chat GPT or another AI software to help you write a letter recommendation. If, especially if you're not good with words, you don't like writing, you have other things to do. You know, you're busy, you're working on all these projects and somebody says that asked you, they would be grateful if you wrote a letter, a recommendation for them. Of course, you usually, if you believe in them, if they're your friend, if you um, don't mind at all, you'll fit it in your schedule. But this can help save you some time. So it's a wonderful thing. Um, Use it. Doesn't mean it has to be not personal. You, You can personalize it either by putting a lot of those details and see if chat GPT can craft that. But I like to do it afterwards, after you get the gist of the letter recommendation. I'll go through here and put the personal touch on it, the examples of when I knew the person, the details that maybe chat GPT left out. So if you have to write letters of recommendation, try this, use chat GPT. There's nothing wrong with allowing AI to help you out for some of these tasks. You can still craft it to where you make it very personal 
and help that person that you're writing a letter of recommendation for. All right, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you hadn't already, I appreciate it. If you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can get all the latest videos to help you get your income in shape. Take care.